Hi everyone, welcome to a Proverbs Home. If you're just stopping by, I want to say hello. And for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you and welcome. Today's video is going to be about an old-fashioned Christmas. And I'm actually, I actually went through my home and found things that I already have to decorate my tree old-fashioned. Now, we have two trees. We have a smaller one, and then we have this one that I usually keep out all year round, and I decorate it according to the seasons. But I wanted to kind of change up the decorations a little bit. Some of them I'm going to leave, and I wanted to add some old-fashioned decorations. So I thought to myself, okay, what can I use that I already have? I don't have to go out and spend money. I already have in my home so i went in my hutch and i have not been in there in a while i opened it up i opened some of the drawers and i found some goodies and one of those things that i found were these frames and we're going to talk about these in a minute so i found those i took those out i found this really pretty cardinal little can that i got about a year ago that i had put away in there you know it's amazing how sometimes you can put things away you forget where they're at and then you find them when you start just cleaning out or checking things. And it was a lot of fun going through my things. And I also found this. Now, I got this quite a while back and I actually put it away. These are Robert E. Lee and his family paper dolls. So I found these. You could tell it has the yellow sticker. They were a dollar. And I got these at a yard sale a long time ago. I do collect paper dolls. And I had this put away in my hutch. And I found it. And let me tell you, I was like, I forgot I have this. And I was so excited. And I picked out some of my doilies that I also had put away in this bag. And I'm going to show you how we can decorate these doilies and put them on our tree and make it look very vintage. So I picked those out. I decided what else can I use. And I got some of my paper plates that I bought for desserts. This one has the sled. So I'm going to show you how we're going to use that. And what? guess what else I got? I've got to show you. I got some of the mason jar rings from the mason jars. Where is my other one? Here it goes. Here goes a mason jar ring. And I decided I want to decorate these and put them on the tree also. There are so many things in your home that you can use if you go through your stuff. And you could even use fruit to hang on your tree. And there goes Elijah. He's coming to say hi to everybody. <laughs> use sugar plums. They use cranberries. They use popcorn. They use all of that to decorate their tree. So I decided I'm going to go through my stuff at home and take out things that I consider old-fashioned. So go on ahead. Go on along. Get yourself some old-fashioned things you have around your house. While I pause this really quick and get yourself some tea or coffee and enjoy this old-fashioned Christmas. Okay, so I am back. One thing is important, have your scissors, scissors, and tape. For these decorations, you really don't need hot glue, but if you want to use hot glue, you definitely can use hot glue. But I am just going to use scissors and tape, and I also have my hole puncher. So I actually, let me show you the oranges first. I worked on these in my kitchen earlier, and this is what I did. I just decorated the orange with some ribbon. I thought to put some ribbon on the oranges would look really, really pretty and then hang them on the tree. So I put ribbon on this one. I have this plaid ribbon. I've been using it for everything. And I also have these little pins that are different colors. So I use this and I'll show you the pins look like this. I'm sure you know what they are. They come like that. So I found these pins in my crafts and I thought those would be great to hold the ribbon down instead of using glue. And then I also put this gold pretty ribbon on here. And I put these um, Christmas tree ornament hooks on. I have a whole packet sitting right here. So I decided to use those and then I'm gonna hang these on the tree. But before I put those, I thought I'll do maybe one or two and show you how I made these. I didn't have any big oranges, so I decided to use the small ones. And I think they're great to put on the tree if you put the small ones on there. I mean, the big ones are too, but the small ones, you know, they're not going to be as heavy. So I went on ahead and I just put the orange flat in the middle of the ribbon. Then I crossed the ribbon over like this. And I took one of these really cute pins that have the little colors on the tip. And I went on ahead and poked the ribbon down into the orange 
and it's better than using the glue because if you want to go on ahead and eat the orange later you can eat it if you want to take it down before it gets high dehydrated you can go on ahead and eat it so i'm going to go on ahead and i poke put two pins in the middle then i go i'm going to go on ahead and crisscross them the other way you can see that and then i'll pin this side down too and that's what it's going to look like so I'll pin this on. If you want to use any kind of ribbon, I just had this ribbon available. Like I said, I didn't want to go buy anything or spend money. I thought whatever I have in my craft room, I'm just going to look. I looked inside my hutch. I looked everywhere for things that I have that I don't use. And a lot of us have that in our homes. We have so many things. And you know what else you can use that I have seen in the past? You can put cloves in the oranges and hang them. Those little cloves. And that will look really pretty also. So the next decoration that I'm going to show you that I decorated is the mason jar rings. The rings that go around the mason jar. And I decided, you know what? Let me try to do something with these and make something for the Christmas tree that's kind of old fashioned. So this is the one that I made right here. And I put some garland around it. And then I am going to put one of those hooks inside of here and hang it from the tree and it looks so pretty you can hot glue the garland if you want i did not i just tied the garland on the sides and left it because i wanted to use the rings later on i have my pencil and then i looked in here for a pretty picture i was like i want to use one of these pictures and i even though they're not christmas pictures but i thought these would be great to use so if you have an old-fashioned book that you no longer use or a magazine like an ideal magazine or something like that and you want to cut out one of the pictures from there and use them to decorate you can do that so these are really pretty really pretty so I'm gonna go on ahead and I think this little girl right here she has a little cute little red bow she's in the garden I am going to cut that one out and what I'll do is I'll take let me move some of this I'm going to take this ring and I am going to make a circle with my pencil so I can cut it out around the little girl. And I thought that would be really nice. Okay, so there it goes. I made the circle. I don't know if you can see that around the little girl. And now I'm going to cut out the picture. You'd be surprised what we can do when we think outside of the box, when it comes to crafting, decorating, cooking, keeping our pantries neat, whatever it is we're doing. And we don't have the money to go out and buy expensive stuff. And we can just use what we have in our home and just say, oh, this might work. So, I went on ahead and cut that picture out. It's such a pretty book. And where is my ring? Here is the ring. And what I'm going to use is just a little bit of tape. I'm going to put the picture inside the ring like that. If you can see that. And I am going to use some tape to kind of keep it down. A little bit of tape right there. I think it's so cute. And what you can do too, you can just leave them like that and decorate a gift in a jar. Just tie it around. Here we go. And there you go. And you have a pretty ornament for the tree. Very easy to make. If you want to put some tape, you can go on ahead and put tape on the sides. And you can also add this to the top of a jar to give as a gift. I found these here, these frames. They still had the plastic on them. I got these at the Dollar Tree a while back and they were in my hutch. So I went on ahead and I'm like, how can I use these? Because they are vintage looking. And I'm gonna put these right here by my tree on the wall. And that'll give it the perfect look. So what I did was I took these from inside the frames. These came inside of the frames and it has like the size of the frame. And it came in there and I'm like, I can use those for templates. So I did use these, this one. And the square one for templates and I cut out pictures from this book I use the old-fashioned Santa let me see if I see it in here 
I use this one with the bells and this one, the old fashioned Santa. So I use those to put inside of these frames and I just follow this pattern and cut them according to that pattern. And I'll show you, take it out. And just put it right there. And then just put the backing. You can use them to decorate your wall. You can use these to decorate your table. And it just looks so cute. Oranges, anything you want to use and make your table look great. Just make it look real pretty. I have the Robert E. Lee family cutouts and this is what I am going to do. I am going to go on ahead and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to try to find one of the vintage dolls like see this one I'm gonna use one of these now I don't know if these pop out or I have to cut them out yeah these I've got to cut them out the other ones that I have they just pop out so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna cut them out and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I went on ahead and I cut the paper dolls out. They were no easy tasks, let me tell you. I do like the ones that pop out better, but these are beautiful paper dolls. And this is Mary Lee. So the tag she had at the bottom, I just taped it on the back of her dress. And I am going to put that one on the tree. And I think that would give it a very nice vintage look. This is Chris, Chris Lee. I think these are the children of Robert E. Lee. And very handsome gentleman in his nice tuxedo and um just a really really nice cutout so i have those and i am going to put these on the tree and then i have the doilies now you can put ribbon through these doilies and you can hang these on the tree also it's very simple to do you can actually take garland run it through the hose and put it on the tree and it makes it really nice you just run the ribbon through you tie it at the top and then it just makes this really easy cover and you can put them on top of your jars to give as a gift there you go and you have a really nice cover for your jars get those oranges out or apples or cranberries you can use to decorate maybe you have some of those jar lids that you can decorate really nice and use jar lids to decorate your tree use some old frames or take like if you have spring picture frames that you only put up in the spring maybe take out the backing and put in a Christmas photo and put it up on your wall and that's very inexpensive if you have these really pretty cans that you just want to fill them with things and just put them out maybe you put some hard candy in them and put them out on your table if you have those candles that you want to use is great too
really enjoyed this video today and you enjoyed all these decorations. May God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.